former building Gewerbeveren's Ansbach Ansbach in the 17th century Ansbach, is a city in the German state of Bavaria. It is the capital of the administrative region of Middle Franconia. Ansbach is 25 miles southwest of Nuremberg and 90 miles north of Munich, on the river Frankische Rizat, a tributary of the river Main. In 2020, its population was 41,681. Developed in the 8th century as a Benedictine monastery, it became the seat of the Hohenzollern family in 1331. In 1460, the Margraves of Brandenburg Ansbach lived here. The city has a castle known as Margrafenschloss, built between 1704 and 1738. It was not badly damaged during the World Wars and hence retains its original historical Baroque sheen. Ansbach is now home to a U.S. military base and to the Ansbach University of Applied Sciences. The city has connections via Autobahn A6 and highways B13 and B14. Ansbach Station is on the Nuremberg Kreilsheim and Trutling and Würzburg Railways and is the terminus of Line S4 of the Nuremberg S-Bahn. Ansbach was originally called Onaltiesbach, a term composed of three parts. The individual word elements are Onald, the suffix S and the Old High German expression Pa or Bach. The name of the city has slightly changed throughout the centuries into Onaltespa, Oneldsbach, Oneldsbach, Onelsbach, Onesbach and finally Ansbach. It was also formerly known as Ansbach. According to folklore, towards the end of the 7th century a group of Franconian peasants and their families went up into the wilderness to found a new settlement. Their leader Onald led them to an area called the Residal. This is where they founded the Yerhof. Gradually more settlers, such as the Vinden tribe came, and the farms grew into a small village. Many villages around Ansbach were founded by the Vinden during that period. A Benedictine monastery was established there around 748 by the Frankish noble St. Gumbertus. The adjoining village of Onaltiesbach is first noticed as a proper town in 1221. The Counts of Ottingen ruled over Ansbach until the Hohenzollern Burgrave of Nuremberg took over in 1331. The Hohenzollerns made Ansbach the seat of their dynasty until their acquisition of the Margraviate of Brandenburg in 1415. After the 1440 death of Frederick I, a cadet branch of the family established itself as the Margraves of Ansbach. George the Pious introduced the Protestant Reformation to Ansbach in 1528, leading to Gumbertus Abbey's secularization in 1563. The Markgrafenschloss was built between 1704 and 1738. Its gardens continued to be a notable attraction into the 1800s. In 1791, the last Margrave sold his realm to the Kingdom of Prussia. In 1796, the Duke of Zweibrücken, Maximilian Joseph, the future Bavarian King Max I Joseph, was exiled to Ansbach the French took Zweibrücken. In Ansbach, Maximilian von Montgela wrote an elaborate concept for the future political organization of Bavaria, which is known as the Ansbacher Memoir. Napoleon forced Prussia to cede Ansbach and its principality to Bavaria and the Franco-Prussian Treaty of Alliance signed at Schönbrunn Palace on December 15, 1805 at the end of the Third Coalition. The act was confirmed by the 1815 Congress of Vienna, Prussia was compensated with the Bavarian Duchy of Berg. Ansbach became the capital of the Circle of Middle Franconia following the unification of Germany, at the time, it had a population of 12,635. Jewish families were resident in Ansbach from at least the end of the 18th century. They set up a Jewish cemetery in the Ruglanderstrasse, which was vandalized and razed under the Nazi regime in the Kristallnacht. It was repaired in 1946, but it was damaged several times more. A plaque on the wall of the cemetery commemorates these events. The Jewish congregation built its synagogue at No. 3 Rosenbadstrasse, but it too was damaged by the SA, though it was not burnt down for fear of damaging the neighboring buildings. It serves today as a symbolic house of God. A plaque in the entrance serves as a memorial to the synagogue and to Jewish residents who were murdered during the Holocaust. In 1940, at least 500 patients were deported from the Heilund Pflegeanstalt on Spock, on Spock Medical and Nursing Clinic, to the extermination facility Sonnenstein and Hartheim which were disguised as psychiatric institutions. As part of the Action T4 Euthanasia Action. They were gassed there. At the clinic in Ansbach itself, around 50 intellectually disabled children were injected with the drug luminal and killed that way. A plaque was erected in their memory in 1988 in the local hospital at No. 38 Futwangerstrasse. During World War II, a subcamp of Flossenburg concentration camp was located here. 
Also during the Second World War the Luftwaffe and Wehrmacht had bases here. The nearby airbase was the home station for the STAB and IKG-53 operating 38 Heinkel He-111 bombers. On September 1, 1939 this unit was one of the many that participated in the attack on Poland that started the war. All of its bridges were destroyed during the course of the war. During the Western Allied invasion of Germany in April 1945, the airfield was seized by the United States 3rd Army, and used by the Asaf 354th fighter group which flew P-47 Thunderbolts from the aerodrome from late April until the German capitulation on May 7, 1945. At the end of the war, 19-year-old student Robert Limpert tried to get the town to surrender to the U.S. forces without a fight. He was betrayed by Hitler Youth and was hung from the portal of the city hall by the city's military commander, Colonel Ernst Meyer. Several memorials to his heroic deed have been erected over the years, despite opposition from some residents, in the Ludwigskirche, in the Gymnasium Carolinum at No. 6 Kronenstrasse. After the Second World War, Onspach belonged to the American Zone. The American military authorities established a displaced persons camp in what used to be a sanatorium in what is today the Struth Quarter. Batwosh Onspach has been held in Onspach since 1947. Since 1970, Onspach has enlarged its municipal area by incorporating adjacent communities. Onspach hosts several units of the U.S. Armed Forces, associated with German units under NATO. There are five separate U.S. installations, shipped in Kaysern, home to 412th Aviation Support Battalion. Katerbach Kaysern, formerly the home of the 1st Infantry Division's 4th Combat Aviation Brigade, also home of 501st MIBN and 501st of MBN which has been replaced by the 12th Combat Aviation Brigade as of 2006, as part of the 1st Infantry Division's return to Fort Riley, Kansas. Bismarck Kaysern, which functions as a satellite post to Katerbach, hosting their post theater, barracks, von Steuben Community Center. Military Police, and other support agencies, Barton Barracks, home to the Uzag Onspach and Blydorn Barracks, which has a library and housing, and Erlis, which hosts the post exchange as well as a housing area opened in 2010. Onspach was also home to the headquarters of the 1st Armored Division from 1972 to the early 1990s. On July 24, 2016 a bomb was detonated in a restaurant in the city, killing only the bomber himself and injuring few people. The perpetrator was reported to be a Syrian refugee whose asylum application had been rejected but who had been given exceptional leave to remain until the security situation in Syria returned to a safe condition. Witnesses reported he had tried to enter a nearby music festival but had been turned away, before detonating his device outside a nearby wine bar. Climate in this area has mild differences between highs and lows, and there is adequate rainfall year-round. The Kuppen climate classification subtype for this climate is CFB. Around the time of the unification of Germany in 1871, the chief manufacturers of Ansbach were woolen, cotton, and half-silk goods, earthenware, tobacco, cutlery, and playing cards. A considerable trade in grain, wool, and flax was also supported. By the onset of the First World War, it also produced machinery, toys, and embroidery. Today there is a large density of plastics industry in the city and rural districts around Onspach. Onspach lies on the Trutling and Würzburg Railway. Kasper Hauser 1828-1829 Theodor Eskerik Onspach is twinned with, in the novel The Schirmer Inheritance by Eric Ambler, Sergeant Franz Schirmer of the Onspach Dragoons is wounded in the Battle of Priusisch Eilau in 1807. He returns to Onspach to settle but changes his name as he has been posted as a deserter. The bulk of the novel concerns efforts by an American law firm to trace his descendants to claim an inheritance. Thanks for watching.